let's take a look at the concept of a matrix inverse in each of the two tools, the matrix algebra tool and the row operations tool, because you can do an inverse in either one. It's more straightforward in the matrix tool because you just type in your matrix. Here I've typed in a 4 by 4 matrix A. If I want to find the inverse, I just say A to the power minus 1 and compute it. And there I have it. I've done it in fraction mode right here. If you uncheck that fraction mode box and do it, you can do it to whatever number of decimal places you want. There it looks like two decimal places. Let's set it up to five decimal places and do it. Or let's go back to fraction mode and recompute it. Um, now let's switch over to the row operations tool and look at the inverse for the same matrix. To do it in the row operations tool, we need to enter the matrix as the 4 by 4 left part and the 4 by 4 identity matrix beside it on the right and then click on reduce completely and we now have the identity matrix on the left and the inverse matrix on the right. And if you compare you can see that the inverse matrix that's showing right here minus 4 thirteenths, 0, 6 thirteenths, 1 thirteenth is the same as our computation of the inverse when we use the matrix tool.